क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 इज अ ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन ऑफ द वर्नर कैलिपर्स एंड स्क्रू गॉज मेजरमेंट बिकॉज वी दे हैव गिवन कि वर्नर कैलिपर्स व्हिच 1 सेंटीमीटर हैज 8 मेन स्केल डिवीजन तो वी कैन से 1 एमएसड इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय 8 सेंटीमीटर एंड दे हैव गिवन कि 5 वर्नर स्केल डिवीजन इज इक्वल टू 4 मेन स्केल डिवीजन सो वी कैन डेफिनेटली फाइंड आउट द वर्नर स्केल डिवीजन इज इक्वल टू 4 बाय 5 एमएसड 4 बाय 5 एमएसड इट इज 1 बाय 10 सेंटीमीटर and by we know least count is equal to msd minus vsd so least count comes out 1 by 40 cm of the vernier calipers in the second part they have talked about a screw gauge in the screw gauge in the first option a and b if you see option a and b they have given the screw the pitch of a screw gauge is twice the least count of the vernier calipers if pitch of a screw gauge is twice of least count of the uh, twice of the least count of the vernier calipers the so pitch comes out 1 by 20 cm and pitch comes out 1 by 20 cm so the least count will be which is pitch divided by number of circular scale division which is 100 given in this question so the answer will be 0.005 and for option c and d they have given least count of linear scale of a screw gauge which is twice of main scale division then least count of linear scale is 2 into 1 by 40 cm so pitch will be twice of this because they have said ki one circular rotation they move two linear scale division of vernier scale so pitch comes out 1 mm in that case if pitch comes out 1 mm in that case so least count of uh, circular least count of screw gauge will be pitch divided by number of circular scale division which is 1 upon 100 so answer would be 0.01 so by this we can say answer of this question would be b and c question number 19 belongs to modern physics and this question is completely informative because in this question you need not to put any logic you have to know all the things about the nuclear reactor nuclear fusion and nuclear fission and you won't believe that this is completely given in ncert and if there's first part nuclear fusion it is involved with energy production by star in the case of a star nuclear fusion will occurs and then neutrino emission so the answer of a would be r and t similarly fusion in a nuclear reactor b part the answer of this question will be p q s t where p is absorption of thermal neutron which will happen there q which is a cobalt nucleus cobalt nucleus is a heavy nucleus so it will go for a nuclear fusion s energy production heavy water heavy water is definitely being used and neutrino emission of course neutrino emission will occur neutrino emission will be occurring in all the four parts and if you consider the beta decay the answer would be cobalt because it will go for the nuclear fission and r which is energy production ha in the case of energy production of star nuclear fusion reaction will occur and beta decay will occur so answer of c would be qrt and similarly the answer of d would be pqrt it is a simple informative based question question number 20 is a question of the simple concept but it is a bit calculative because you have to differentiate the equations in physics <coughs> the first they have given the potential energy for different different scenario and they have asked about the equilibrium points and the oscillation will be there or not so it's a very simple part <coughs> if you see the first part u1 is given as u0 by 2 1 minus x square by a square ki power 2 so by differentiating we know f is equal to minus du by dx by differentiating we'll get f1 is equal to 2u0 by a ki power 4 a a minus x a plus x into x so by simply looking at this f we can see the force would be zero at x equal to 0 x is equal to a and x equal to minus a so a option will definitely go with p q and r and the s part they have given in the s part and t part they have given ki it will perform oscillatory motion or not so <coughs> when you see in the s part they have given the particle experience an attractive force towards x equal to 0 in the reason mod x less than a but if you see mod x less than a yani x is equal to <coughs> x is equal to 0 is a point of maxima potential energy so force will it would be a st- unstable equilibrium so all the particle don't want to come at that point so so force will be not towards x is equal to 0 but x equal to minus a would be a point of a stable equilibrium in that case it will perform oscillation so the a part answer will be pqrt similarly 
we consider the same thing for the B part and the C part and the D part and by getting this we will get the answer for B <coughs> for B part we will get Q and S you can see in B part the force will be 0 at x equal to 0 which is Q part and S which is the third part and in the in the C part we will get the answer P Q R and S and in D part similarly will get the answer P, R and T. So this will be the answer of this question.